Hi there, this is Robert Simon again from Volboard and in this short video I would like to show you a very easy uh, combination of a QR code reader which is a, a sensor and the data source connection which is an online database where we get the information from and combine it in a content. So here you can see that in my content I have three hard-coded pages for this uh, one and two and three products of Orbit but I don't have these bags, these Orbit uh, Peppermint, Spearmint and Bubble Mint products uh, in the database uh, but that is a dynamic one. The dynamic means that the data is coming from a data source. This data source in our case is just a, a Google Sheet where I have the barcodes, the product names, details and price and even the image and the website of that particular product entered or system reads it and dynamically gives it to the content and the content uh, will display only that information that is connected to that particular product. So let's see the first one. I'm going to show this product to the barcode reader which reads about 20-25 centimeters from and it jumps to that page Then I show the second product like this one It uh, jumps to that page this can be with this uh, QR code reader we can read QR codes and barcodes So you can even enter more information to a co uh, QR co code uh, If you need that for a search criteria so these products are not in the database, or not in the content hardcoded, so it's coming from the database. I'm going to show this uh, product uh, to the reader. And everything that you can see here, the product image and details are coming from that, uh, that uh, Google Sheet. This, of course, doesn't need to be a Google Sheet. This can be any kind of JSON or XML file that you generate or your customer generates. The customer can generate it from an SAP system or any kind of uh, uh, product information system that they are using. They just export it, I don't know, hourly uh, or, or once a day. They provide it to Volboard. Volboard imports it and distributes it to the, all the devices that are connected to that uh, uh, data source and the lookup and the uh, picking up the information from the database is happening on the media player itself so once again i'm going to take this product show it to the reader and it uh, jumps to that page and when i take another product that is uh, entered only in the database i'm showing it to the uh, reader and it jumps to that page there are a lot of opportunities with the database integration um, it can be the simplest one can be some i don't know in a restaurant at the daily menu but uh, in uh, in in a more complex environment like a call center when the data needs to be uh, fresh and 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 updated within three seconds um, and you have to display different type of information or different type of layout when the data is above a number or under a threshold you can also do that there are a lot of uh, uh, options for uh, for the database or data source management similar to the uh, sensor uh, events you can have database or data source events so that's about it thank you very much and have a nice day